Hey guys, what's up? This is your boy Neil Aubrey Taylor back with another live video and the topic of this video is called the dark agenda of the little mermaid and the mermaid kingdom spirits. We're going to talk about it because this is a nice topic, a hot topic that's been talked about on social media for quite some time now. A lot of people's been talking about this little black girl called Haley Berry who's supposed to be played as Ario of the Disney's Little Mermaid, and people are upset about this black girl playing Little Mermaid. And I know I addressed this in one of my other videos, but I really didn't get into detail. So I want to get into detail in this video because the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, because I deal with the scriptures and the Bible. So before I even get into this video, I want to make disclaimers. So anybody who's coming in, you know, I want y'all to know. That this this is a this is definitely a spiritual topic because what the Holy Spirit put on my heart to speak is a spiritual topic. What I'm saying, and I want you guys and ladies to understand this from a higher level of understanding because I know a lot of people are probably looking at this situation as an attack on black people, which it is an attack on black people, but it's greater than just an attack on black people and white people. This has to do with the marine kingdom and spirits of the marine kingdom. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to break down the scriptures for you guys. And I'm going to give you an understanding of what the marine kingdom is for those who are unaware of marine spirits. I've done videos on YouTube. You guys can check me out at Neil Aubrey Taylor at YouTube. And I have video on marine spirits where I gave you my personal testimony of me coming across a serene spirit. Now, there's different classifications of marine spirits. I explained that in the video, so you guys can check that out. If you do guys want the link after this video, hit me up in the DM, and I will send you the link to that video so you guys and ladies can watch that yourself. Disclaimers are, if you're not into the Word of God, not into the Scriptures, this is not a video for you. If you are not spiritual, this is not a video for you. If you are sensitive to cursing, because I will be cursing in my video. This is not a video for you. So I make these disclaimers because this is not a video for kids. I will be talking about explicit shit. So if, this is, if, that, if that offends you, it's not a video for you because I'm going to get deep. All right? So let's talk about the Marine Kingdom. The Marine Kingdom is a system of itself. You feel what I'm saying? Just like how you have the, the, the heavens, the different levels in heaven, and you have the levels in earth, Sheol. Sheol is known as hell, but hell has different levels of hell. We're going to get into all those different things in other videos. But when we talk about Sheol, Sheol is talking about the earth, under the earth. And the sea has its own kingdom. And those principalities that govern that kingdom is marine spirits. And it's funny that I Holy Spirit will have me listen to a lot of the different testimonials about people who was in the occult and that was Grand Master Masons and all that, and that they would change their life to Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, and they would talk about their testimonials as far as how, the, how they were in the occult and how they were taking people's souls or they had a quarter to make of taking people's souls, and a lot of their operations had to do with the Marine Kingdom. So for the simple fact that now when you're looking at social media and this uproar about this black girl playing Ariel in this little new upcoming mermaid Disney movie, right? People are so upset about this girl playing this role. Black people are upset because they're like, yo, these, got, these white people are being racist and shit. And white people are like, yo, why, why are you playing a white? Why, why we don't have the little mermaid play as a white girl? So on one level, the agenda is a racist agenda, but you're not looking past that agenda because you're so caught up in your emotional feelings of racism and injustice. You're not seeing the bigger picture. Several forces at work, because it says it right there in Ephesians, it says we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. So physical warfare between different races of people, that's flesh and blood. It says we do wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, rulers, and authorities in wicked high places. So that includes the heavens, that includes levels and dimensions on the earth and under the sea. 
And if you look at the story of the Little Mermaid, it's talking about the marine kingdom. She, Ariel, represents a marine spirit. Whether you like to believe if mermaids are real or not, she represents that. And if you really look at this girl, Haley Berry, she looks like a fucking mermaid. I'm just going to keep it real. Like, she looks like she has that type of spirit on her. So you got to look at this thing and say, okay, why all of a sudden Disney wants to use a black girl as a casting member for a, 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 known, a known Disney film known as Little Mermaid, which represents a white mermaid. And, and they want to use a black mermaid instead. All of a sudden, they want to use a black mermaid. They didn't use no ugly black girl. They used a beautiful black girl. You got to ask yourself that. And then when you really look at this woman, she looks like a fucking mermaid. You got to ask yourself that. Let's, let's get out of our feelings and emotions and really ask ourselves that. What is the higher agenda? And I'm going to tell you in this video what's the higher agenda. Because what the Holy Spirit put on my heart to talk about is this. Dealing with the marine spirits. And I'm going to read because my friend sent me some stuff, some links talking about the marine kingdom. And we're going to explain what the marine kingdom is. All right? Now, let me find. The water spirits, right, are from the marine agents. Marine spirits operate when people are consciously or unconsciously committing sexual sin, right? They employ marine spirits to war against individuals, families, governments, and even continents. In most cultures of the world, there, there is ancestor worship of marine deities. I know you conscious motherfuckers know what I'm talking about. As a result of this, the family members are dedicated to them. The dedication of normally, the dedication normally extends to generations yet unborn. This goes on infidel indefinitely until you renounce it and separate yourself from the evil umbrella that's covering your whole family line. This is something I've been talking about for so long. Generational curses. Black people, you want to know why you so cursed? Well, I'm going to tell you why you niggas is so cursed. Because you are worshiping spirits that deal with the marine kingdom. You're dealing with principalities and fallen angels. I hate to say it to you niggas like that. Because it just said it right here. It says in most cultures of the world, there is ancestral worship of marine deities. Let's look at the Santeria. Let's look at the Budun system. Ovia. What pantheon of deities are those? When you look at... Deities like Yimmy Ya, Oshun, they're fucking mermaids. And I've seen a lot of you sisters who are trying to combat the racist comments of white people against this little mermaid shit. Y'all putting up pictures of Oshun, Yimmy Ya, all these deities that deal with the water. So the real agenda is really not against racism. The real agenda, to be honest with y'all, idol worship. These deities need worship. These deities need energy. Just like how the Most High says, you will not serve no other God, for I'm the Lord your God. You're not supposed to be serving no other deities. You're supposed to be serving the Creator, the Alpha and the Omega. But you see, you got fallen angels. And fallen angels want to be like God. What did Satan get kicked out of, the, of heaven for? for trying to be saying that he was going to be like the most high. He said, I will exalt myself. I will set my throne on high and be like the most high. That was an offense towards the most high, Elohim. So Satan was able to cast out two-thirds of the heavens, right? Or one-third of the heavens, whatever it said. And it, that's part of those spirits that fell from heaven. Some of them dwell on the earth, so you have earthbound spirits that deal with certain territories and different continents, territorial spirits, right? And then you have, you have marine spirits. Some of those, those fallen angels that you would consider deities and ancestors actually fell into the water and that created the marine kingdom, all right? So what you all actually worshiping and y'all thinking these are your ancestors because spirits could masquerade. It says it in the scriptures, Satan can transform into an angel of light. So if 
Satan can transform into an angel of light, and that's the scriptures, right? So what do you think these marine spirits could do? These marine spirits can transform into human forms. They could take human appearances. They could walk amongst us. You might not believe that, but this is a channel to open your motherfucking eyes. Since you like to talk about, yo, open my third eye. Open my third eye and come to this realization that, yo, there's other beings other than human beings that exist on this planet way before we got here. And they've been trying to dominate us, trying to control us, trying to make us feel like cattle and sheep. I've been on a fast for quite some time. And I'm telling you, I've been fighting spiritual warfare every night. And what the spirit world has been showing me and the most high has been showing me is how niggas are trapped in sin and bondage and how because they open these doorways to the occult, they worshiping other deities other than the most high. They're not following the ways of the most high that you are cattle and sheep to the dark forces on the other side. So when you are giving praise to Little Mermaid, even though it's a Disney cartoon, the greater effect of that in your life is that you're giving energy to dark forces in the marine kingdom. Now let's continue reading. Because I want y'all guys to have a full understanding. It says that these covenants that you create, it extends to generation to generation. What did they say in Deuteronomy? He said that he will curse you to the third or fourth generation if you continue to live in this darkness. And that's out of the mouth of the Most High. Right? He said this is what is called collective captivity where members of a particular family experience the same problems and bondages. There is a collective captivity marine vehicle carrying the whole entire family where God has not ordained for them to go. You as a child of God need to use the blood of Jesus to separate your life from that evil marine vehicle of your family. See, when you pray and you do spiritual warfare, you affect these other kingdoms of darkness because Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Christ is Lord, Lord of lords and kings of kings. So if God is the creator of all things, that's who you should be worshiping and serving, not your ancestors, not these marine spirits, not these deities because they got black skin. You black people are so lost and confused. You worship any fucking thing that look like you. You worship, God said not to make any graven images. And you don't understand why, but I'm explaining to you why you should not make any graven images or worship any graven images. When you guys and ladies set up altars in your home, you're inviting these demons in your home and you're giving them legality over your life, not only your life, but your generational line. Why you guys have diabetes? Why you guys have certain infirmities in your life why you guys have certain similar things that's going on in your life that your finances is not up some of you women can't have kids because you're barren some of you guys can't get your dick up because you are married to spirit spouses that's in the marine kingdom sometimes you can't have no good love life because you are married to a spirit spouse and that spirit spouse is jealous of you and your physical spouse relationship so they will attack your relationship. They will attack your marriage because they do not like that. You are marriage. You are married to these spirits, especially if you are initiated into your cult. I told you guys in a lot of my videos, I was into the occult. I have a lot of experience and in, in, in testimonies on a cult. And see, when I turn my life to God, it's not an overnight thing. But I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, this is not a game. This is the end time. They're trying to capture souls. So if you promoting Little Mermaid, even if it's a way to get back at white people because they are trying to get at this girl for playing Little Mermaid, you are actually contributing to the agenda of the Marine Kingdom. You're giving them praise and worship. This That's what they want because you're opening the doorway for these marine spirits to come into your life and destroy your life even more. I'm not scared of these motherfuckers because they come in the night and they fight with me all the time. They have made death threats to me. They said that we're going to come and get your soul. They said all kinds of stuff. I'm not scared to die. I'm not scared to fight for the Lord. 
And I'm telling you right now in this video, you should not be scared of darkness. If God is light, he is the truth, the way, and the light, then you should stand behind that word. The only reason you'll be scared is because you don't have a personal relationship with God. God gives me the strength to fight. I've had several friends who was in the occult, and I know that they changed their life to God because I've been working with them and God has given me the grace to work with these people and make sure that, yo, I keep on tabs on these people and their lives are changed today. They're a totally different person. And when they look back at the stuff they used to do in the occult, they would say, yo, man, damn, I was living in darkness. I thought I was conscious. I thought I knew all this shit. A lot of you conscious brothers and sisters, I'm going to keep it real with you. You might be offended when I say this, this video, but you know I don't care. I care about your soul. You dealing with the occult is giving these spirits legality in your life. They're, you're giving them legality in your life. They have legal access to your soul. You're, this is why you cannot get married. This is why you cannot find a man or a woman. You cannot have good relationships with the opposite sex because you are marrying these marine spirits. There's certain initiations that are happening in the spiritual world when you go to sleep at night. A lot of times when you guys and ladies go to sleep, this is when the enemy attacks you. Plant seeds in your mind of deception and doubt. Why do most of the black people have a problem with Jesus Christ? Why do most of our people have a problem with the scriptures and can't read the scriptures? Every time they pick up a book and read, they fall asleep. They got happiness in their eyes. Think about that. That's an attack. If they really... If nothing wasn't wrong with the Bible, and if Jesus Christ really didn't exist, Yeshua HaMashiach, right? For the Hebrew community, know them as Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, right? If they had a problem, if these motherfuckers didn't exist in the Bible, then why is the marine kingdom and, and the kingdom of darkness working so hard to distract you from reading your Bible, having a prayer life with God, going to church, doing what you got to do to praise the Most High? Why? Because they know that if you turn your life to God, that they will lose your, they will lose control over your soul. You don't have to believe me. Look at it for yourself. I'm going to give you some facts right now about water and marine spirits. One, there are three spiritual realms in the universe. These are the heavenlies, the earth, and the waters. Remember, go back to Genesis. God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was out form and void. He parted the waters, the firmaments. So there's three heavens. Heavenlies, that's where the, that's why you got the third heaven. They have the third heaven where the throne of Christ is at. I went to the third heaven before, plenty of times when I was raptured up in the spirit world. All right? You have the earth realms, the astral world. You have different levels on the astral plane. Right? The heavenlies deal with the cosmos and all that. And the waters under the earth, Sheol. Right? Perfect example of the of the of the of the marine kingdom is the movie Godzilla. If you've seen the movie Godzilla, there was a part of showing how these beings live under the water. They had a whole civilization under the water. Watch Godzilla if you did not watch that movie. They were explaining the marine kingdom. Right? And Godzilla is a marine spirit, for those who don't know. I did a breakdown on that movie, too. All right? It says, we should exercise dominion in all three realms because God has given us dominion over the works of his hands. That's the legal authority and power that God has given us. He's given us dominion over the earth. What is Satan trying to do? Trying to have dominion over the earth and overthrow humanity. That's why in the scriptures they say Satan is the god of this world because when we ate from the tree of good and evil, we were kicked out of the garden to eat it and we lost our ability to dominate the earth. Animals were subservient to us, all the beasts of the field. They all were subservient to us because we were the alpha. We were the split image of the most high. Said God said he created man in our image and likeness. But we listened to a fucking serpent, a marine spirit, and that deceived us because they've been here before us and they didn't like the fact that God gave man dominion over the earth. Y'all can say this is fairy tale, 
but there's bigger truth behind fairy tales and mythology. You guys are not opening your third eye to see the spiritual reality around you. A lot of your stuff and things that you deal with in life is dealing with spiritual warfare. Okay? Psalms 8. So read Psalms 8. You guys read Psalms 8 where he talks about dominion. All right? And three, God created the land from the waters. Water spirits and marine powers operate out of the waters. Water spirits can easily be used against a person because 85% of the world is water. 70 to 75% of a human being is consist of water. Everything that God created was for the benefit of of man, but the fall of man changed that, just like what I just said. It introduced curses where God had originally planned only blessings. So God's intent, original intent, is perfect will for man and woman was to be blessed, be fruitful and multiply. Now you not being fruitful and multiply. You niggas are having sex with the same sex. Y'all niggas are being destructed. You're doing thou will. You're doing the will of your father, Satan. Right? But God did not create us that way. You're being, when you guys are having these sexual perversions, these sexual dreams, all of these are attacks of spiritual attacks from the marine kingdom. You should not be having sex in your dreams. You should not be having sex with another species. It's a form of bestiality. Angels and demons are not humans. We should not be procreating with humans. Now you look at the story of the Nephilim, those giants that run the earth in the days of Noah, because those are the same things that this agenda right here that's happening right now, because it says in the last days, it'll be just like in the days of Noah, right? So if it's going to be, if the end of days, which is right now, is going to be just like how it was in the days of Noah, then they should tell you right now, these motherfucking spirits that's masquerading as ancestors, they're fallen spirits from the most high because they, they fell out with Lucifer. They're trying to reproduce themselves through human beings. And, and don't be surprised if this chick that's being casted for Mill Mermaid, I hate to drop this bombshell on y'all, is that she's probably a hybrid spirit and she doesn't even know that. The elites know that. That's why they, the elites use this little girl to be played in this movie called Little Mermaid. They could have choose a white girl to play Little Mermaid and dye her hair fucking red if they needed to. Why you choose a woman that's of an African descent so that to tell you that these African deities that you motherfuckers like to worship like Yimmy Yan or Shun are marine spirits. And it lines with the agenda of what I'm talking about. This is stuff that the Holy Spirit placed on my heart to talk about. And I know I'm going to get attacked for it. And I know I'm going to get flack for it. But I'm ready for the warfare. Because God got me. I'm not scared of none of you. I'm going to keep it real. I ain't scared. If I was scared, I wouldn't show my face. I ain't scared of you niggas. I roll with the most high. I'm willing to die for my shit. So let's go. Let's go, my niggas. Now look. It says... It introduces curses where God has originally planned only blessings. The fall of Lucifer and his bin and his pop. Let me say that again. The fall of Lucifer and his thrown out of heaven with his fallen angels further compounded the problems. So when Satan and his angels fell out of heaven, they caused more problems on the earth because Satan has a beef with God. Right? It says... Therefore, rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. Listen to that. It says, Therefore, rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he has known it that he has a short amount of time. Revelations 12, verse 12. So these go find us in Revelations 12, verse 12. So it says, woe means destruction to the inhabitants of the earth. There's earthbound spirits that govern the earth. 
territorial spirits. Different cities and towns have different territorial principalities. We're going to get into this because I want you brothers to be educated. I know a lot of you guys want to get into this conscious shit and talk about via gods, but you don't have no understanding of the principalities that you're dealing with. You do not wrestle against flesh and blood. You can laugh at me about, oh, yo, you worship Jesus Christ. That don't, that's that white man shit. Well, guess what? You're being deceived by your own, you're being deceived by fallen angels that masquerade with the same skin color that you look like. Black devils. So I'd rather you niggas laugh at me for saying I'm worshiping a quote unquote white Jesus, which you niggas never even met the most high before. You niggas don't even have a personal relationship with the most high. You don't even, you never seen the face of your father. Why? Because you have hardened your heart to the word of God. See, when I open my heart to the word, word of God, I got to meet the most high. I know that the most high looks like me because I am created in his image and likeness. He has created the tribes of Israel, you Hebrew Israelite niggas who are so confused about adopting doctrines of devils and heathen nations. Black men, Amer black men and women of America, you are the black tribe of Israelites, Puerto Ricans, Hispanic people, people of natural melanin. We are the children of the most high. Stop falling for doctrines of devils. Come back to the most high. This is a warning video. I don't care how you feel about this video. I'm only going to say it once. So I'm freeing my conscience from you niggas who think and don't want to believe and want to harden your heart that the most high doesn't exist and Jesus Christ is a white guy. I, I want to change that for you. And I'm doing to do this with this video. I'm going to show you who's really deceiving you. Is it really the white, quote unquote, white man? Or is it the motherfucking spirits that you niggas are realizing all the time? Damn time. T Let me say it again. Damn time. Tongue twisters. You niggas are lost and confused and I just gotta say it like that and don't feel like I'm better than you because I'm not because I was in the occult I used to worship them same spirits I used to give libations to those same spirits and I at one time was confused too and I am free because that's who the sun sets free is free indeed and because God has freed me that illusionary world that illusionary curse I'm going to do my part to help the brothers and sisters realize that same reality if they choose to. Because if you're watching this video, there's a reason why you're watching this video. Okay? So let's, let's keep going. I don't want to rant all the time. So, nine, it says, there are terrible witchcraft activities against people, communities, and even countries in the marine world. Let me say that again. There are terrible witchcraft. You guys like to practice witchcraft. Activities against people, communities, what's going on in the black community. Even countries, all these other nations, heathen nations. In the marine world, the marine powers are worshipped in most parts of the world. Many has transgenerational covenants with these powers. There is normally a queen in the water that is worshipped such as Jimmy Yah. See what I just told you, niggas. What I just told you, niggas. Let me get these ads out of here because they they they, they sent these ads. All right. So, which means mother of the children of the fish, Okaloon, which means mother of the sea and others. They are also a king in the water that says worship. Say every evil king and queen, in the water demands for my worship. You are a liar. Fall down and die. This is a prayer that you guys should say and renounce these spirits. So I'm going to say it one more time. Every evil king and queen in the water demanding for my worship and praise, you are a liar. Fall down and die in the name of Jesus Christ. I plead the blood of Jesus on this video right now. I protect the viewer who is watching this video right now. Cover the person, the, the messenger in the blood of Jesus Christ. Cover the viewer with the blood of Jesus Christ. Father God, cover the ears of the viewer from any 
misleading spirits that may lead them astray, cover the heart of the viewers so they can only receive true and disperse of the lies. Father God, open the third eye of the viewer to see your truth and nothing but the truth, Father God. I cover them in your Holy Spirit now. I pray this in Jesus' name. Yeshua HaMashiach, amen. I always wanted to do that protection prayer because this is getting deep. And listen, you just watching this video, don't be surprised if you have little spiritual attacks here and there because the enemy does not want you to know this. But you see, I'm going to break this thing down because I'm tired of seeing all these people on the news feed talking about this Ariel shit this and the Ariel shit that. And they're not seeing the bigger agenda behind this agenda. It's all about praising, worship, and gathering the souls. Get right with God. You feel what I'm saying? So let me read this. The Marine Girl is just like any other department in Satan kingdom. And it's very, very organized. So they are marine altars. So you guys who like to go to readers, psychic readers, and get readings from African deities and try to find out your past, your present, and your future. Oh, I was reincarnated. Listen, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a lot of videos on decoding and debunking a lot of that shit that y'all used to study and that I used to study in the conscious community and just throw that shit out. Because you are being confused by marine spirits in the kingdom of Satan. Marine altars, let's say somebody, you go to a psychic reader, right? And they ask you for pictures, they ask you for an item, they ask you for your hair. You are now creating a marine altar in the marine kingdom where these spirits will sacrifice you on their altar. Drink your fucking blood while you're still alive. That's why sometimes... When you around certain people, you feel drained. It's because those marine spirits are draining your life force. And when they drain your life force, you are dead in the spirit. And then you die. That's why you have a lot of untimely deaths. Why you see people die very young. And they just die sudden deaths because of witchcraft. This shit is fucking real. So you could hate me for telling you the message and telling you the truth. Or you should be giving me giving me props for coming out and being bold and telling you niggas like yo this is what i used to deal with and this is not cool get right with god before he comes back and destroy this fucking place because these spirits know that their time is up and if you look at the movies that's been coming out you got movies like godzilla you got movies like endgame always talking about trying to stop time trying to reverse time because they're giving you a sign that the, it, it, the end of times and their time is up. So you guys better get it right with God before your time is up. Because if you have been dealing and dabbling with the occult, you've been getting astrology readings, you've been doing tarot card readings, you've been going to readers and soul readings and all that, repent and renounce those things now. If you guys have altars in your home, you need to get rid of that shit. You need to get baptized. You need to get. You need to go to a church or whatever you got to do. Even if you don't go to that church and don't participate in that church, but you just go there to get baptized in the Holy Spirit and have a a, a, a union with God and get reborn again. Because that's important. It don't make no sense doing spiritual warfare with these spirits if you are not right with God. I'm gonna give you that big disclaimer right now, so you say so you can't say I didn't tell you. You must be born again. And that means, let's say, for instance, if you were baptized when you were a child, it doesn't count because it wasn't of your own free will. It, it has to be when you're an adult and you have common sense and it has to be your choice and your decision. That's why when I'm teaching what I'm teaching, I tell you guys, I say, yo, I might tell you repent. I might tell you do all of that. But at the end of the day, it's your choice if you choose to listen or not to listen to the messenger. I'm just a messenger. But when you be born again, God recognize you as being spiritually alive because God is life. What these spirits, when you sacrifice your kids and sacrifice yourself and your whole entire generation to these marine spirits, they're going to drink the blood of your family and, and, and cause sicknesses and illnesses in your family line. That's why a lot of people, you look at a lot of these women. 
A lot of you women are obese, and you're wondering why, like, I'm trying to do all these different things to lose weight, but you can't lose weight because it's a spiritual curse. It's a spiritual curse. You women put all these different hairs in your head, but you don't even know where the original hair came from. A lot of these hairs that y'all put in your head, and I got testimonials that I was listening to earlier this week about vanity, and I'm going to do a separate video on that, but I'm going to get into it a little bit. About a lot of these hair that you women put in your head comes from the marine kingdom. They put curses and hexes in those hair, and that's why you women are going out of your fucking mind. Instead of loving and appreciating the hair that God gave you, you're putting in hair of foreign entities. You're putting in foreign energies into your body. This is how these spirits attack you. Attack you. So when women who have a lot of obsession over marine spirits and mermaids, you might want to check that and be delivered because you more than likely have a marine spirit in your bloodline and, and they're serving as familiar spirits. If you have any obsession with things of the sea, that is need, you need to be delivered. If you're having any problems sexually, you can't have kids, you can't get it up, you're having problems in your love life, you need to be delivered. You need to be delivered. I'm not going to say any way nice to you because you niggas are so emotional. You can't say shit to niggas. And that's because those spirits are fucking with you. They are messing your minds up. So marine altars are serious. You got to get rid of the physical altar in the physical world and renounce those soul ties and covenants with those spirits in order for you to be free and your family and bloodline to be free. I'm speaking from experience. I've been in a cult all my life. When my mom's, before I was born, and I told this story, but I, I'm going to say it again. My mother sacrificed me to the dark side because she went to a psychic reader to try to find out about my future. And I forgive my moms. You feel what I'm saying? She's not alive no more. God rest her soul. But you see, when she did that, she opened doorways that she couldn't close. So all my life, I've always been in spiritual warfare. All my life, I've always had to fight with demons. And I never really truly found true peace until I found Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, Yahweh Shai. Until I found Yahweh Shai, I didn't find true peace. Until I found the Most High and I got baptized, I didn't find true peace. And I'm, I'm, I'm telling you guys, don't take my word for it. If you get baptized and you accept Christ as your personal Lord and Savior and get right back with God and you start reading your word, I promise you that you will find that peace that no man nor woman can give you. These spirits ain't giving you guys peace. Sometimes these spirits got you up at all hours in the night doing all kind of wicked, evil shit. Sacrificing kids, sacrificing your brothers and sisters. That's some evil fucking shit. I'm telling you, man. When I was in the occult, man, they had me up all kind of hours in the night. Get out from among them. All right? So I'm using this topic of Little Mermaid because I know a lot of people are talking about it right now. And I feel that the spirit wanted me to talk about it because it's going to wake a lot of you guys up who are watching this video right now. All right? Priest. So there's Marine Priest. Maintain the they say maintaining the marine altars supervise evil covenants between marine powers and their victims, including evil de declarations to marine powers, offer sacrifices to and supervise the worship of marine spirits, initiate people into various marine societies, such as the Mermaid Society. So this movie called Little Mermaid, right? It's actually initiating souls into the marine kingdom as sacrifice. When you guys are putting up all these ads and posts about this marine shit, giving veneration like these motherfuckers is your ancestors, you are giving the marine kingdom power over your household, power over your life and your soul. Cut that shit out. Cut that shit out, man. Real talk. So... And you see, marine animals, including crocodiles and serpents to harass people. So these occultists who are initiated into these marine societies, 
they could transform themselves into marine animals. So witches, whether they're male or female, because you have male witches and female witches. When I was in the occult, I was straight, I was straight a source from keeping a honey with y'all. I had the ability to transform myself into animals. You feel what I'm saying? I could transform myself when I was used to astral travel. You feel what I'm saying? I'm just keeping it real with y'all. And niggas will send you on a mission. They'll send you to a mission to kill. So you guys got to be prepared in the spirit. If you don't have the blood of Christ, you don't have the full armor on, you are a target. If you're living your life in sin, you are a target. All right? And a lot of these marine agents are actually people that walk on this earth, but they're, they are tied to the marine kingdom through initiations. So they're priests or priestess to the marine kingdom. A lot of this Illuminati shit y'all niggas scared about, they have ties to the marine kingdom. Real talk. All right? So it says, marine strong men that enforce these covenants and enforce sanctions if they are broken. So you have strong men that deal with the marine kingdom that enforce these covenants and enforce sanctions if they are broken. They show up in your dreams to deal mercilessly with the victims. So when you guys sleep at night, you having sex in your dream at night. Some of you guys may have sleep paralysis and you feel that you're attacked in the night. Those are spiritual attacks from those agents of darkness, right? A marine strong man may be a serpent. When they sexually violate you, they take the appearance of men. So if you think you're having sex with your spouse, you think you're having sex with your ex or any lovers in the dream, you need to get up and renounce that dream and rebuke that dream in the name of Jesus Christ. Because those are the spirits that are masquerading as ancestors. Those are the spirits that are masquerading as people to, in order to deceive you, in order to form covenants and initiation. When you have sex with a spirit in the dream, you are forming a covenant with Satan. Yeah. When them goddesses used to come to me in the realms like Oshun and all of them, they get forming covenants through the sex act. A lot of my cult powers, when I was getting a lot back in my earlier 20s, was through these, these initiations in the spiritual world. I was never initiated like physically through any system like the Aruba or the Ifa system. I was initiated because I was just initiated from small. Like I told you about my mother's situation. So when I got deeper into the cult, I started getting more power from these occult spirits. And when I turned my life to God, I had a hit on my head. And I still do. I woke up this night, last night having to fight all kind of shit. Niggas coming at me, telling them out, yo, we come for your soul. So I know. And I know these niggas is watching. And I ain't scared of you niggas. I die for my God. I don't know about none of you niggas is watching. But I die for mine. I'm not scared of this shit. I live this shit. I've been, I've been attacked all my life. They ain't doing nothing new to me. I'm keeping it real. God's power is greater than any fucking demon that comes at you in the night. You about that principality um, hierarchy about what, 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 what level they on. It doesn't matter what level they on. Because they all, all those kingdom of darkness, they, they're run under Satan. But guess what? Satan has to still answer to God. Look at Job. Story of Job. When God called all the angels into a meeting, Satan and his angels came up to the third heaven. God said, where have you been, Satan? He said, through and fro the earth. You've been walking back and forth. So that tells you that Satan's dominion is on the earth and in the sea, the marine kingdom. And Satan couldn't attack Job because God had a hedge of protection over Job's life. Because Job was a righteous and upright man in the sight of God. And even though that was a wager between Satan and God, Satan, yeah, he messed with his finances. Satan killed his kids. Satan did all those things that was wicked to Job, but God said you cannot kill Job. And Satan had to obey that. Why? Because God is greater than all niggas. Real talk. God is greater than all the motherfucking deities you niggas worship. So you can laugh at Jesus Christ. You can laugh at Yahweh Shah. 
But guess what? When he comes back and he destroyed his goddamn place, it's going to be too late for you niggas to repent. So you better repent. That's a command. That's no ifs, ands, and buts, niggas. Real talk. Because God has a hedge of protection over your life. You wonder why this society is not destroyed yet? Just think about that. I just gave you the story of Job as an example. If God took his hedge of protection off of this place, and he really truly gave Satan total freedom and access to come and destroy this world, you niggas will be asked out. And it's coming very soon. It's coming very soon. So you better stop cursing and blaspheming God like, oh, God doesn't exist because you didn't, you didn't, you wasn't raised right and you wasn't taught right about the scriptures. Don't bite from the fucking hands that feed you, nigga. Keeping it a honey with y'all. Because a lot of y'all see y'all on news feed talking bad about God in all kind of derogatory ways. And you know what? That's your page. You could do what you like, but you all got to answer for that. You got to answer for everything that you do. Let's continue. Let's continue. So you got these marine spirits that sexually assault you. They influence the, the, let me say that again. The influence of water spirits can be felt everywhere. They control commerce. They manipulate governments. Yeah, your government is manipulated by this kingdom. That's why I said, look at this shit from a greater agenda. And then just quote unquote racism. Because it's bigger than that. Right? And they have infiltrated deep into the churches. That's why I tell you guys to stay out of churches that you don't feel the Holy Spirit, especially if you guys have the Holy Spirit. If they're not teaching you about repentance and they're only teaching you about prosperity gospel and being blessed, this place is cursed. You ain't got no blessings out here. Get your soul right with God. If they ain't teaching you about true repentance and getting right with God, get out of them churches. Get out of those churches. That's why I don't even advocate niggas to be going to church. I tell niggas, yo, have a personal relationship with the most high. Real talk. I tell you niggas that. It says, so I'm going to say this prayer and I'm going to try to end this off real quick because I know I've been ranting all the time. Got 47 minutes in. I want you guys to leave your comments in the comment section below. If you guys are interested in watching my other video on the Marine Kingdom, hit me up in my DM and ask me to send the link and I'll send you guys the link and I explain more about the Marine Kingdom if that's what you're interested in. If you guys need prayers to break generational curses, soul ties, covenants with Marine spirits and spouses, hit me up in my DM and I'll send you the link to the YouTube channel where I have prayers and deliverance. Where I recorded these prayers, you guys can listen to that. All right. So I'm gonna say this prayer right now. I just want you guys to bow, ladies and guys, to bow your head with me. Right. Father God, we come before you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I ask that you cover us in your blood right now. Cover our point of location, oh, and keep us stealth away from the enemy's attacks. Father God, we ask you for your Holy Spirit to. Come on the inside and cleanse us of all unrighteousness, all impurities. Father God, I ask that you open the hearts and minds of every viewer watching this video right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father God, every marine agent assigned to pull us down, sort of the Lord, locate them now and destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father God, we refuse to surrender to the enemy in the Jesus, we will not be defeated by the devil, for we will exalt ourselves in the name of Jesus. Exalt us, exhort our extort ourselves in the name of Jesus. Sorry, Father God, I pray for my brothers and sisters who are watching this video right now, who may be unaware of the marine kingdom and marine spirits and the principalities that govern the marine kingdom. Father God, I ask that you remove the from their eyes in your own time and own doing, Father God. For everything is orderly in your kingdom. And Father God, that you reveal to them the truth about this spiritual world and spiritual warfare. For I know it is written in your word that we do not fight against flesh and blood, but we fight against 
principalities, rulers of darkness. Father God, educate my brothers and sisters on your word, your scripture. Nourish their defiled souls. Father God, renourish their dead state of mind. Father God, give them a spirit of life and not of death. We know that you are author of life and that you have power over life and death and that you are in charge of all things. Father God, I ask that you give us the mercy and grace to follow in your footsteps. You said you could do what I can do and even greater. And I believe it that that is true for greater is he than is that's within us, the viewer and the listener than he that's in the world. And Father God, I ask that you bless us with your anointings, open the gifts of the Holy Spirit within us for those individuals who may never had a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. I ask you, Father God, to convict them in their spirits, in their hearts, and in their souls to turn their life to you today, Father God. Brothers who are unaware of their purpose in life, women who are unaware of their purpose in life, Father God, turn them to your way, for your way is not our ways, and your thoughts are not our thoughts. And Father God, we've been trying to do it our way all our lives, and we've been lost, confused, and dehydrated. Father God, this is a spiritual war we've been fighting for years. Some of us have been fighting this all our lives. Father God, some of us has been grown up in occult homes with family and friends who worship other deities other than the Most High. And it said it's in the word who said that you should not worship no other God, for I am the Lord your God. And Father God, if we have been worshiping other deities, we want to repent to you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Forgive us of our ignorance. Forgive us of our blasphemies. Forgive us of our heresies. Forgive us of our not knowing. Father God, we want to come into you with knowledge and understanding. We want to come as you as humble as a lamb, humble as children. Father God, we put our pride to the side. We put our arrogance to the side. We put our inflated egos to the side. And we come as kids. We come as humble lambs. You said to be wise as serpent, but harmless as doves. And Father God, I pray for my brothers and sisters who may be struggling with the occult. I pray for my brothers and sisters who may be struggling financially, sexually, emotionally, in their relationships, in their businesses, at their jobs. They've been attacked by people for no reason without a cause. Father God, we know that these are spiritual attacks. Attacks of the enemy on our minds, trying to doubt our faith in God. Father God, we remove all those doubts and fears right now. We know that you're the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the last. And Father God, I want you to put an everlasting peace, the peace of the Most High, upon the minds of the viewer right now. When this person turns off this video, they have the desire to want to read your word, to want to know you more, to want to get to glorify your name more, and to glorify you to the world without shame, without guilt, without cause. Because Father God, I used to be in that same situation. At one time, I didn't want to glorify your name, but now I understand that you have given me life way before the womb. And I want to share your glory in my life. And I want to share it with my brothers and sisters and I want them to feel the same peace, joy, and happiness. And I ask you, Father God, to bless my brothers and sisters who are watching this video right now with the peace of the gospel, the peace of God. Let them know through their own testimonials, through their own revelations, that you are real and that you're not a myth. Not anything that they have heard from the conscious community, not anything that they heard from their parents or what they are conditioned to know when they were growing up, but to have a face to face conversation with you, Father God. And that you will open their hearts and you will open their minds and you will open their souls to receive this light called the Holy Spirit. And you will guide them into all the truths and that nothing by any means can harm them for no weapon formed against the viewer who is listening to this video and the messenger who is preaching his message can harm them. 
We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I just wanted to say that for you, brothers and sisters. And I hope that you, brothers and sisters, have a beautiful day. And if you have any questions and concerns, hit me up in my DM. If you guys are interested in having those prayers sent, the link to the prayers, if you want the access to that Marine video, hit me up in my DM, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.